Alrighty, what's up everybody? Brian Baker here with Hunt Fish Camp. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that'll help me out. Uh, and we can't get on the ice around here, at least not in the La Crosse area in Wisconsin on the Mississippi River. It is wide open. It is uh, after Christmas, we're almost to the new year and we have no ice, it's crazy. I'll be headed up north here in a couple days, so I'll be bringing you some uh, ice fishing content here pretty quick. I'm gonna get out, just gotta get out and catch some fish. But today, uh, we're talking gear. We're gonna be talking about uh, jig boxes and how to store your tackle. Just what I use anyway. I'll put links in the description for everything uh, as well. So if you're looking for a new jig box. Also, if you have a way that you store stuff, please add to the comments, add a picture, uh, send it to me. I'd be curious to see. I'm always looking for better ways to store things, uh, whether it be for walleye fishing stuff, bigger stuff, for the small jigs, or uh, for tip-up things. That's really, that's where I need some help right now. Uh, which is why I'm not going to show you any tip-up things today, but let's get to it. Okay, so on me all the time, I'm always wearing my bibs, and so there are two things that I always carry with me. Uh, and these are these two boxes. Now these are very, very tiny. So this first one right here, uh, just an Amazon purchase. I don't even know what the brand is on say on it, but it's got one side that's got the little foam that I can put my jigs into, and then the other side with these little compartments that they spring open, which is kind of cool. Though I'm worried that's gonna break someday on me. I cannot store a lot of stuff in here though, but I keep this in my bibs, so I always have a couple basics. So I have a few little spoons, and then I've got the, the jigs, the primary jigs that I use most of the time. Um, and I like the foam because it keeps them separated. They're not banging around. They don't get really dirty and nasty, um, which is good. I don't like the foam because they're kind of a pain. Sometimes the jigs get stuck in there. Sometimes they get over stuck on the edge. So it's kind of annoying that way. So I do use uh, my other jig box. I sort of prefer, however, the jigs get dirty and gross over time. And so I'm still a little indifferent on it, but so this is what I use for my basic jig box right here. The other one I always uh, carry with me is this little tiny guy. Uh, which I absolutely love this jig box, actually. There are not jigs in it at all. There are plastics. So it has 10 little compartments, and that is enough. I have, essentially, I have the BY Baits Blood Worm in there. I have a few other things, but in a variety of colors, because that's my go-to. That's what I use most of the time. Uh, it's my confidence uh, plastic is what that is. I'm actually testing a new plastic uh, right now, so I'm testing out some lifted uh, fishing plastics, because they have scents. Uh, other things there too, so I'm gonna, I'll am i be bringing you a video on that. I'm going to test it out. I'll compare it to the blood worm. We're going to do a whole bracket on scents and which scents work and which ones don't. Uh, and then we'll compare it to the blood worm as well, the BY baits, and we'll see what's what's best. So I'll let you know uh, what that is. So maybe I'll be sticking with this. Maybe I'll be switching over and uh, starting a new uh, new chapter in baits. Okay, so those two I carry with me all the time because my coat is not always with me. Sometimes it's at my sled, my shack. I move, or move around a lot while I ice fish in my coat then. So then I do keep uh, a few more things. So I've got this Laco box. This is my number one box, the one I've used for many, many years. I really like this one. If you're uh, just looking to start out and get a box, this is the one I would get. They're cheap. Uh, you can buy them just about anywhere. And it, all it is is a bunch of compartments. And on one side, you've got one big giant compartment here. So I know about it's hard to see in there now. It used to be pretty clear. And so I've got all my jigs, a whole variety, just sorted out with different things. I've got little snaps, I've got uh, various spoons and Cecil's and even a few jigging wraps in there. So this gives me a good variety of things. Um, so if I'm out perch fishing, for example, and they're being really aggressive, but there's not a lot of fish around, I move up to like a jigging wrap and I have that uh, to call them in and get those big fish to bite. So then I have this with my coat. So it's available to me um, whenever I'm out, out fishing. Okay. The other thing in my coat is my handy dandy fancy Ziploc bag, which this is just more plastic. So all the random different plastics that I've got. Um, and so if I feel like trying something new, uh, if they're not biting the BY Baits plastic, the blood worm, then I can go through. So I've got a variety of shapes and random things in here. I have more in my basement as well, but this just gives me a variety of stuff that I carry around. I prefer to leave plastics in their packaging because a lot of these have scent uh, things like that and so I, I believe it keeps them a little more pure keeps the scent in there a little better um, rather than letting it dissipate slowly if I open it up and put it into something so uh, these stay in their packaging in my fancy 
high-tech bag that I need to replace because it's totally ripping out right now. Okay, that one. Then, one more to test. So I bought this thinking this was gonna be the deal. I don't uh, particularly like it. This is the clam uh, little jig box and it has foam on both sides. And um, it's, it's nice, it holds a lot of jigs in there. What I use it for now is these are just brand new jigs that I bought and don't have space for it, or I bought a whole bunch, so you can see a color that I really like is this gold with orange eyes. I bought a whole bunch of them, and so I keep a couple in my regular jig box and the rest stay in here, and so as I lose them or as they get dirty or whatever, I can slowly, eventually um, replace them or switch them out kind of thing. So this actually just sits in my basement and waits, so when I need to feel an itch to look for new jigs, uh, then I look at this and look at what I've got and see if I need to switch a few things out uh, or if I want to try something different. That's what that's for. Okay, that covers all the, the jig things. So again, this does not come with me. The other one that does not come with me unless I am walleye fishing or if I know I'm fishing for big crappies or big perch, and that is this guy right here. Now this is the, the fish trap. This is meant to be mounted into a shack is what that is, but it holds perfectly um, this Plano double-decker box. And so this is all spoons. So let's open that up. Uh, so spoons and jigging wraps on top along with a few other things in there and then I like that it's this double decker box even though the top end it gets a little shuffled around if I'm going to open it up like this but uh, it gives me a lot of storage for a lot of bigger things um, all in one container so I don't need to have multiple planos to carry around um, I have just the one box that I can carry around nice and easily and then I like having this uh, because I have so in the top has like my tip up lights type stuff, a few extra plastics or baits that I haven't opened yet type thing can be in those those pockets. So walleye fishing, sits at home, does nothing, just stores some baits, always with me, but in my coat, so not necessarily carried with me every second of the way. And then I've got the two that I carry with me 100% of the time, always on me. They are the smallest ones because I don't wanna carry a bunch of junk around. So the less I can carry, the better. And to be honest with yourself, when uh, you go fishing, you use the same bait 90% of the time, which is the same for me. I really only need a couple of things and um, I'm trying to be better at that and not buying more all the time, but it's fun to try new stuff. They just tend to not work. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if you're gonna go out and get something, again, add in the comments. What do you use? What do you like to use uh, for your walleye things, for your jigs or plastics or, uh, or tip-up uh, things as well? I have a different box I use for treble hooks and uh, leaders and whatnot for, for tip-up things. But let me know uh, what you use. Always uh, looking for new ideas. And uh, the goal of this channel is to help you get out and catch some fish. So hopefully this helps you choose a jig box to use for this ice fishing season and links down below for everything uh as long as everything that i can find anyway and yeah get out and catch some fish